All right, here we go. This is Dr. James Ryan Finn with the world famous Dr. Lord. You know that intro? What is it? What is that reference to? I just never understood. There's no reference. What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean reference? What does that mean? Like world famous? Is that a reference to something? No, I just think you're you. You're a big part of my world. You're famous in my world. Of, of all the patients that you help at our office, to see you interact with the people, see the love and caring, you're a big part of so many people's world because you rock their world with your amazing adjustment. And yeah, that makes you world famous in so many people's world. I would say you are world famous too then. Well, maybe. <laughs> anyway, this is the Phenomenal Health Show. Dr. Finn, Dr. Lord coming to you guys with a message today of love and life and health and healing that comes from within. Because health does not come from the store. You cannot buy it. It doesn't come from a package box, bag, or pill. Health comes from within your body, and it's your responsibility to take care of it or throw it away. Do whatever you want to do. But we're talking today about neurodegenerative diseases, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, the degenerative ones. But specifically, the neurodegenerative stuff is just awful. And why it's so important that we're pounding these topics so hard is because... They are the most expensive causes of death, let alone the most common causes of death. And there's a common denominator that they all have. And it's, it's within your lifestyle. control. It's all within your control. Yeah. It's your lifestyle. It's the choices you make. It's, it's things that you have power over. So we need to talk about it so people are more aware about it and how to prevent it. Yeah, and that's where that's medicine 3.0. Medicine 1.0. And this is as per Peter Adia with his book Outlive. He calls it medicine 1.0. This is the bloodletting. This is the leeches. This is the this is the, the the crazy stuff that we were doing before modern medicine like we know, which he calls medicine 2.0, which is pretty much get tested until you're sick. And then we have a pharmacological treatment. And that's it. I mean, think about it. If you go to the doctor every week and get tested every week, when does it show you're sick? After. Always after. So then we treat it with disease. And by the time the disease shows up, you're so far down. By the time by the time we can measure or you feel it, the symptom and the sign that we can measure is the last thing to show up in the disease process, not the first thing. So now it's diabetes medication forever. Now it's, okay, you're going to heart medication or you have to put a stent in. Now it's cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. Now it's no treatment for degenerative neurodegenerative stuff. They just don't have much for that. There's not a drug for Alzheimer's, which is one in three seniors that dies with it. So, yeah. So when it comes to the annual cost, we're going to talk specifically about diabetes here, type two, the annual cost for adults 65 or older is $19,000 a year. And if you're younger than 65, that, uh, 65 years old, it's about $8,000 a year. So the way I understand it, there's two types of diabetes, type one, Correct. Type two. Yep. One you're born with. Mm -hmm. One you choose to have. Yep. Because it's 100% in your control. It is lifestyle related. Mm -hmm. You do not have to be diabetic. My dear friend Jason is on a quest. He went in and they're like, yep, you've been, di been type two quite a while. They're like, it's getting bad. You know, you may have to, we're going to have to start doing insulin. He's like, heck no. And now just, he started walking. Okay, he started walking, he changed his diet a little bit. He's done some crazy diets, but overall, the whole different thing is he's lost a bunch of weight. He feels a whole lot better. He's not, he's not diabetic anymore. He's no longer pre-diabetic anymore, and he's not going to, he's not going to, he's not going to suffer because diabetic people end up with neuropathy. They end up with heart disease. They die of heart disease almost without fail if you go unchecked. And thank goodness he took that initiative because it's a long, long journey if you don't take the initiative to create and make new habits to reverse all of the, the damage that has been done. And so you can control this. And again, it goes back to your lifestyle, your exercise. And it just takes one day to even just get going. And then you stay consistent with it. it takes 21 days to create a habit, but also holding yourself accountable for that and doing things that make your body feel good. And after a while, you won't want or crave these things that cause type two diabetes, that cause stroke, that cause cancer. You'll, your body will reject the things that the standard American diet, most people love to eat cheeseburgers, french fries, uh, fried chicken. Fried chicken. Yeah, right. it's good, but it's like, well, you're, if, you're, if your body gets, recognizes the healthier foods, after a while, it's gonna want and crave healthy foods versus the unhealthy. 
and that's it. And, and then, um, oh my gosh, I go down so many rabbit holes on that. And nobody's saying don't eat fried chicken or eat ice cream or smoke a cigarette if you want. But you can't smoke 20 a day. It's going to kill you. You can't eat fried chicken seven times a week. It's going to kill you. You have to have some fruits and vegetables and healthy foods. The number one food, write this down, write her down, for your brain, your heart, diabetes, and cancer prevention, eat some raw nuts. That's it. Walnuts, cashews, almonds. Your 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 raw nuts are the most are the healthiest thing you can possibly do um, to preserve your brain, your heart, your and, and prevent and, and, and kill cancer and help your help your old little pancreas out there because it stabilizes your blood sugar. You have resveratols in there that help with your brain and your heart. But a handful of nuts. There's a study done. They took a, they took a, they took people that ate one macadamia nut, one. And their cholesterol was lower for a month, okay? It takes months for a cholesterol medication to work. One, one, one again, and guess who did the study, Dr. Shannon? The macadamia nut industry. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but that's it. It, it's, it works the same way. One Chick-fil-A biscuit and you're sicker for a month. It works the same way. It's, just, it's not some revolutionary thing. What you eat changes how you are. And what you eat, what you are, what you eat. And you're, 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 you're what you ate ate. If you're eating animal products, did you eat? Did, are you eating a cow that was fed a bunch of toxic stuff, or did you go to Poji Farms and get your your grass fed beef? My friend raises beef cattle. Shameless promotion. So, but grass fed naturally raised cows, and it just the, the simple things. You don't have to go all out and like I'm going to increase my grocery bill by fifty percent. You start with go to Publix if you're in Florida, and you get the little nut container and you eat some nuts during the week. It can radically change your health, and it can prevent you from being a statistic where it's going to cost. If we don't get if we don't get this Alzheimer's thing in check, it's going to be nearly a trillion dollars more per year. Mm -hmm. And that's we're talking like one hundred thousand dollars per person to care for these people. The biggest, the biggest shortage we have in additional healthcare direct workers, we're going to have one point two million uh, uh, um, healthcare worker shortage in ten years if we don't get this under check. That sinks us. That sinks our nation. Mm -hmm. So do it for you. Do it for your friends, your family. Do it for your country. Go buy some damn nuts. <laughs> and also, the average grocery store visit per per month per person is four hundred and fifteen dollars in the U.S. Which is a lot of money. You figure a bill for four hundred bucks a month. That's a lot. Right, but there's ways to to do it in a way where if you know what you need to spend. You can utilize it and, okay, if I have this amount of vegetables, this amount of fruit, and do it frozen, if having frozen fruit is fine it's, um, as well. And yeah, like fresh is best, frozen is next best, canned yeah. is the next best after yeah. that. And, there's and then ways package, box, and bag you need to mm -hmm. avoid when it comes to the processed stuff. But there's, there's fruit and um, vegetables that are cheaper on the other end if you have to worry about things like that. But healthy foods in the long run actually cost less than unhealthy processed foods. So, and there was a study done to prove that. Yeah, it actually ties. You talk about, okay, eating the processed stuff and the, the, the more standard American diet versus really going all out and doing a diet that is rich in fruit and vegetables, fish and nuts. It's about 50 cents more a meal, Dr. Shannon. Okay, dollar fifty, dollar fifty a day, you know. Well, but when you compare it to how much it's going to cost you, to react to if you don't eat healthy, yeah, it's, it's, it's your life. Cost you what's more. your life worth? Right. You know, what's it worth to go to the? What's it cost you to go to the doctor one time and take the day off? What's it cost to then go back for the follow up? What's it cost to then do the treatment with the pharmacological treatment if it's that every month you got to go to the pharmacy? How many trips to that versus a buck fifty a day to really work on your diet? Um, but whatever's good, you know, if you're trying to figure out what to do, start with the rule. It's called the rule of addition. Add something healthy, add some nuts, add a piece of fruit every day, add something healthy to your diet. And the, 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 the results are radical. It's not like a little bit of difference. It's radical in how it affects your brain, your heart, your cancer cell production and your pancreas. And you're empowered because God gave you an ability to heal. It's within you. You can't buy it at the store. You just have to not get in the way. The body doesn't need help to heal. It just needs no interference, and we can help you with that. Yes, and so if your loved one needs our help, whether you have headaches, if you want to get started on a healthier journey, if you have neck pain, back pain, lower back issues, sciatica, vertigo, anything along the lines, there's a lot of different things chiropractors can help with, thankfully, because it all relates to the nervous system. And if you go to our website at finchiro.com, F-E-N-N.
F-E-N-N-C-H-I-R-O.com. Wait, F-E-N-N-C-H-I-R-O.com. And in yeah. case you're writing that down. F-E-N-N-C-H-I-R-O.com. We do extensive testing in our office. And if you were to go to the hospital, they're going to charge you tens of thousands of dollars for it. They don't do some of the stuff we do. Mm-hmm. So we've got it down where it's affordable. We have a super special on our website. Uh, anybody that takes their health seriously can afford the care in our office. So once again, you're a loved one, want to get in. Give us a buzz, finchiro.com. Click the link to make a new patient appointment with the special because your chiropractor loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nope.